The Dakota County Sheriff says in a few days he should know if a game involving Nerf guns had anything to do with the deaths of two Lakeville teenagers. A rollover crash Friday afternoon killed two students, Johnny Price and Jake Flynn. The driver, Alex Hughes, is in critical condition. Mason Kolbach was also in the truck. He's listed as satisfactory. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has more on the game they may have been playing and the legacies they leave behind. As the snow melts, memories are far from fading. Tears linger on what days ago was just a patch of grass. This was David Tritton's first visit to the place where his best friend Jake lost his life. I got the call that said that they were in a bad crash, so. He says the pair were University of Missouri bound. He says his loyal friend made great grades and hoped to play football there. Both we were planning on becoming roommates, and I mean, now I, I don't even, I don't even know. The other victim, Johnny Price's girlfriend, says she had just talked with Johnny. They were just supposed to do their quick Nerf kidnapping, and um, I was in the car for an hour, and I called my mom, and I was like, I, I don't think something's right. So She's talking about a game popular amongst teens. This Twitter video shows kids in the area playing. They try to hit each other with Nerf bullets. Last man standing wins a pool of cash. The sheriff says they're going to try and figure out if what happened here had to do with the Nerf game. But regardless, Devin says that will never be a game to them again. Now it's become a part of, I'd say, like a hated thing in our community. Like, no one supports it anymore, and everyone's just mad that it ever happened in the first place. Letting go of the game, he is holding on to something very tightly. The shirt Jake once wore. When his parents gave me this sweatshirt, I just broke down and couldn't say anything for probably an hour, hour and a half. Now, the sheriff says investigators are checking whether anything was mechanically wrong with that pickup. He can't say yet how many of the teens were wearing seatbelts.